In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The fall. Pag sinabi natin to fall, something quite negative. If you remember, when Adam and Eve, from the very beginning sin, it's called the fall of humanity. To fall is something that we have to avoid. Kahit sa mga matatanda, mga senior citizen. Do not abo- Please avoid falling. Pag na, nadulas ka, delikado po yan. Noon na-stroke po ako, may nabasa akong libro. Ang title niya, The Floor That Kills. Yung sahig na nakakamatay. When you fall, you broke your hip or your knee. Pag matanda ka na, it takes time para mag-recover, mag-heal yung bones. Kaya nga, misan, nakahiga ka, some other complications will happen. Pwede duma- tumaas ang sugar mo, hindi ka magpag-exercise. Pwede magka-bedsore ka, and other complications. And then gradually, you, we will uh, deteriorate. That's why the word falling is something very negative. Kahit nung nag-aaral tayo, bumagsak sa pag-aaral, I failed in this subject. Parang hindi ka pumasa. Parang uh, kulang ang kakayahan mo. Kahit sa negosyo, when you have failed in your venture, it means you are not successful. You failed in your desire to for your livelihood. Nahulog is sign of sin. To fall, bumagsak. Pagkakamali, kasalanan. It has these negative connotations. And, however, the gospel today, Jesus uses the word to fall from another perspective of salvation. To fall not in the negative perspective that we always have. Sabi niya sa gospel, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it only remains as a grain of wheat. But it falls, if it falls and dies, it will bear much fruit. Pwede pala, your own falling can also be the beginning of something beautiful if we are unwilling to accept it, even maybe to say sorry and learn from it to grow. St. Lawrence, a deacon of Pope Sixtus, was martyred a day before Pope Sixtus himself. Lawrence wanted to die before his master, the Pope. At sabi nung isang historian, church historian, pangalan niya, Tertullian, the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church's beginning. Yung dugo ng mga naunang martyr was the seed that really watered and sustained the beginnings of our church. Kaya nga po matibay ang simbahan natin. Ang pundasyon ay dugo ng mga martyrs. Those who have fallen to die for us and to be saved. There's this book entitled Falling Forward. It was written by John Maxwell. John Maxwell also offers another perspective of falling. Not from the negative perspective, but an opportunity to do better. I could remember some of the lines I would not forget from this book. Sabi niya, It's not a tombstone. It's just a stepping stone. It's not a breakdown. It's actually a breakthrough. Pwede, ang pagkakamali mo. Sabi mo, oh, tombstone, patay na to, patay na, wala na, wala tayo pag-asa. Pero pwede mong sabihin, after this mistake, after this falling, I can do better. Pwede, di ka pumasa sa board, board exam o sa final exam nyo, sa school. It's not the end. It's just preparing you for a better exam next time. You can fail in your first venture, in your business. It does not mean the second will be the same. I'm sure you'll learn your lesson. Di ba may expression, there are no mistakes. Only if you learn, uh, if you learn your own lesson, 
then you gain. You become better facing the next. It's not a breakdown. It's a breakthrough. Marami po ako nakilala dumaan sa napakahirap na pagkin uh, nakaraan. But they did not break down. They did not give up. They use it as a breakthrough to other new opportunities. Sabi ni John Maxwell, to fall forward means to embrace and taking the risk and wholeheartedly pursuing something positive. It signifies, it signifies even when we encounter setbacks while striving for a goal, we use those experiences to learn and to grow. When we pick up ourselves after failure, we emerge stronger this time and more knowledgeable than before. It encourages us not to fear failure, but to see it as a stepping stone towards success. In other words, failure is not an end. It is part of the process of success. And for Jesus to fail, to fall, like a seed or like a wheat, bring of wheat, it is the beginning of new life and fruits that will come. Baka may nagsabi na sa'yo, Father, ako naman eh, I never failed in my life. Baka naman he never failed because he never tried. Kaya nang pala wala siyang pagkakamali, hindi naman niya sinubukan. He did not take the risk. He wanted to be always safe on the safe side. He did not go from their comfort zone. Kaya pala wala siyang pagkakamali. I am concerned about individuals who have never experienced failure. How can they ever grow or bear fruits or achieve success if they have not faced the challenges and learn from them? Hindi nila hinarap yung kinilang kinakatakutan. Kaya naman pala wala silang pagkakamali. Yung mga mahilig sa basketball, sigurado naman kilala nyo si Michael. That's my Michael! Si Michael Jordan po, kumisan sabi nila, GOAT, GOAT, G-O-A-T. Greatest of all athletes of all times. And uh, one time, Michael Jordan, na inahangaan ng iba, very successful basketball player, athlete if I may say, he was asked, did you experience failure? As a champion player, sabi niya, well, I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been entrusted to take the game-winning shot and I missed. <laughs> Yung parang last two seconds, binigay sa kanya, lamang ng two points. Sinyat, hindi, hindi naman daw. <laughs> Nothing happened, natalo sila. 26 times, alam pa niya eh. And then he said, I failed over and over again in my life. That is why I succeeded. Naranasan ko maraming pagkakamali. Kaya naging matagumpay ako. Sa mga kabataan, you might want to be successful in your career, your education, your future. If you know somebody who is successful, inaangahan natin sila. Approach them if you may. Ask them, did you ever experience failure in your life? I'm sure they will tell you many things. Because we learn from our mistakes more than our success. Mas marami tayong natututunan sa mga pagkakamali, hindi lang sa mga tamang nagawa. Pagtama na, that's it already. But the learning comes from the most difficult part of accepting our limitations. Another perspective from a priest, a writer, a spiritual uh, guru, his name is Father Richard Rohr. He said one time in his book, Baligtad naman, falling upward. Meron bang falling upward? <laughs> falling upward offers a new paradigm for understanding one's life's most profound mysteries. How those who have fallen down are often the ones who understand up as the best. We grow spiritually more than learning from our mistakes than by getting it right in the very first time. The disappointments the challenges of life serve as stepping stones to spiritual fulfillment in the latter half years 
of your life. When you look back, makikita mo, yun palang pagkakamali ko, yung mga pagkukulang ko, yun yung nagtulak sa akin to understand what it means to go up and to value that dream. Kilala niyo po si J.K. Rowling? Siya po yung author ng series ng Harry Potter na naging movie pa. Napanood pa natin mga movies. She was given an honorary doctorate in literature by Harvard University. Ha? Of our university, Harvard. And then, of course, kaharap niya lahat, mga doktorado, mga professor, mga genius ng Harvard in literature, I'm sure. And many other colleges and universities. Pinarangalan po siya. One of the most successful, if not the wealthiest writer today. Dahil sa kanyang mga libro, mga royalties, at saka sa movie. Nung pinarangalan po siya, siyempre, pag pinarangalan ka, dapat ikwento mo yung success mo. Dapat ikwento mo yung mga achievements mo, di ba? Kasi pinaparangalan ka, an honor honorary doctorate degree. Pero you know, her speech, She did not talk about her success. She talked about how she failed and how she never gave up. Ang title ng kanyang speech, The Fringe Benefits of Failure and the Importance of Imagination. She celebrated her own failure. Sa harap ng maraming tao, ang kinuwento niya ang kanyang mga pagkakamali, ang mga kahirapan niya, hindi man ang kanyang tagumpay. Kahit na pinaparangal siya ng university. I remember part of her speech. When I was young, sabi niya, I was so delighted to be reading the classics in literature. That's why I told my parents, I want to take up literature in college. Sabi ng mga parents niya, there is no money in literature. <laughs> Very practical yung mga parents niya. Pag pumasok ka sa literature na ganyan, <laughs> walang pera dyan, hindi ka kikita dyan, hindi ka yayaman sa literature. But that is my passion. I love reading. I love the, the classics of the past, sabi niya. Matigas ang ulo niya. She followed her heart. And then I fell in love with the man. And then sabi na naman ng pera siya, do not follow that man. Mukha siyang hindi, <laughs> mukha siyang hindi totoong nagmamahal sa'yo yan. Lulukoyin ka. But again, I followed my heart, sabi niya. And then later on, as I look back, my parents were right. There was a time, I was one of the poorest person in London. I had no money to pay the rent of my apartment. And I was a single mother. Inuwanan siya ng kanyang partner. But I never gave up. Bagsak na bagsak ako. Sabi niya, wala na akong pagmamalaki. I was almost naked before people. That is her point, her, her words. And when I reached my rock bottom, alam niyo po yung rock bottom? Yung rock bottom, gusto sabihin, yung parang sa dagat, yung sagad na sagad na sagad na pinakamalalim. Kunyari, bumagsak ka dito. Tapos bumagsak ka doon. Bumagsak ka pa doon. Tapos bumagsak ka pa doon. Sagad na sagad na. Wala nang mas malalim pa doon. Ang tawag doon. Rock bottom. Kung bumagsak ka, hindi ka lang bumagsak. Nakasabit, hindi. Talagang sagad na sagad, pinakamalalim na pagkabagsak. And she said, and I quote her, When you have reached the rock bottom of your life, there is no other way but up. Kung dinatnan mo na ang pinakasagad sa buhay mo, wala ka ng ibang pupuntahan, kundi pataas. As the rock bottom became the solid foundation on which I rebuilt my life. Nung sagad na sagad na ako, itong naging pundasyon ng aking naging bagong buhay. My dear friends, we may be falling or maybe have fallen. This is the solid foundation where you can rebuild a new fruitful life ahead of you. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.